everyone, I'm Angela from empoweredcrystals.com and I make healing crystal jewellery. Today I'm going to be talking about divine femininity and crystals for yin energy, which is the feminine side of our yin yang energy balance. If that's something that you'd like to hear and you're watching me on YouTube, please do click the like and subscribe button. And if you're watching me over on IGTV, please do pop over to my Empowered Crystals account on Instagram and pop me a follow. That would be great. Thank you very much. So, divine femininity and crystals for yin energy. So, yin is the female side of yin yang. We all need a balance of both. Um, female energy is linked to the moon. It's linked to water, to acceptance, um, softness, our emotional side. So male side is more um, logical and thinking about things and problem solving. And feminine side is much more about female intuition and looking at things from emotions. So, um, crystals to strengthen the positive female energies. The first one I have is Labradorite. So, Labradorite has got the beautiful flashes in it, as you can see. And it is um, a beautiful crystal, it's one of my favourites. And it increases feminine intuition. It also um, aids universal harmony. So these balancing stones are great for yin yang energy because we want to be balancing. We don't want to be increasing our female side or our male side too much. We want a lovely balance of yin yang energy. So Labradorite is also good for when we're going through changes. So if you're feeling as though you've been going through a lot of changes and you're getting overly emotional, that's your yin energy, the feminine side getting too much so you actually want to be concentrating on the masculine side but if you feel as though you're detached and you haven't got emotions and you haven't got an emotional connection and um, you're feeling out of sorts then this is when we want to be concentrating on our yin energy so the next stone that i want to talk about is rose quartz beautiful pink heart chakra centered stone one of everybody's favourites, I think, is rose quartz. So with rose quartz, obviously it's a very feminine stone, um, strengthens feminine energy very much. So um, again, as I say, it's linked to the heart chakra. It's also linked with love, which um, obviously people associate love with our feminine side and also self-love and universal love. So all forms of love is associated with uh, rose quartz. So it's great if you're feeling very down and your emotions are very depressed. Rose quartz is a great one because it increases self-love. Um, if, if you're lacking in loving yourself, then rose quartz is a great one to increase that yin energy. The next one I want to talk about is selenite. So selenite, as you can see, that's also got lovely reflections in. And it's actually named the goddess crystal. So it's linked to our inner goddess, bringing out our goddess energies, which is a beautiful thing to do. And obviously selenite, as I'm sure lots of you know, is an extremely cleansing stone. So it's going to remove any energy blocks, clear all our chakras, clean out um, negativity away. So anything that's imbalancing our yin yang, um, selenite will help with and remove the blockages to um, stopping us from doing that. So selenite is a great one for um, setting us along the yin yang balancing journey. The final stone that I want to talk about is moonstone. And now moonstone is famously a feminine stone. It's linked to the moon, obviously, with its name Moonstone. So it links us to moon energy. Moon energy is very yin. It's linked to water and to emotions, um, Moonstone. So our emotional side is very 
um, connected to Moonstone and can get us in touch with our emotions if we're feeling cut off. It also increases our feminine en energy generally as it's such a feminine stone. It's also, if you're feeling stuck in a rut, Moonstone is a stone for new beginnings. So Moonstone is a great one if you're just feeling as though you want to increase your feminine side, your yin energy, then you want Moonstone for new beginnings. So those are all the four crystals that are um, related to divine femininity and for working on divine femininity and getting you in touch with your feminine side. If um, you enjoyed this video and you're watching me on YouTube, please do the, click the like and subscribe button. I will be doing a Divine Femininity Reiki healing next week. So if that's something you're interested in, please do pop the notification bell on YouTube and then you'll be notified when it pops up next week. If you're watching me on IGTV, do pop me a follow on Empowered Crystals um, and Instagram. That would be great. And uh, if you are like any of these uh, crystals and you want to have some jewellery and some healing Reiki, please do pop over to my website and have a look and a browse. I've got lots on there, empoweredcrystals.com. The link's in my YouTube banner on the top, um, the bottom right of the YouTube banner. Thanks very much for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye.